<laughs> an idiom is yeah. something or is a word or a phrase or a group of words that kind of gives clue to uh, beliefs of a culture or society. So for me, I heard a lot of things that were racially derogatory towards African Americans. So um, one idea, the first one I have is this idea of a stack of black cats. Um, and it, for me, it just seems comical, like this idea of a bunch of black cats stacked on top of each other, kind of um, resembling a monument or a pillar. But that idea was um, erected because it was a way to describe a really dark-skinned person. And I have really dark-skinned family members, and that's something that I grew up where dark was always seen as bad, and especially like black. So um, here, I've noticed that too, um, there's this, even in the Latino um, community, there's this apprehension towards darkness. So the closer you are to whiteness, the better you are. This is what my work is about, like being a artist of color in contemporary America, still dealing with the history and past of like the ramifications of slavery, Jim Crow, segregation, civil rights, and then like where I am now. I'm so lucky. Like I'm the first male in my family to graduate college and I chose the path or profession of an artist, like something that's never existed in my family as far as I know. I actually get bused from my poor neighborhood about 40 minutes to National Hills, which is the area where all the kids whose parents can actually afford to golf on the master's golf course regularly live. So here's me and my friends who are poor being thrown into the school with these rich kids who walk to school and parents drive, you know, BMWs and things like that. And so I had to, I, I always performed or just so that I could survive. So since I was mixed, their parents would actually like, I know it's weird to say, but like I felt like they allowed, they liked me more than maybe some other people I went to school with because they would invite me over to sleepovers, things like that, and you know, take me to these places that my family couldn't afford to do and they would just pay for it. But my friends weren't getting those same opportunities. They wouldn't even talk to them. So I knew it had something to do with me being like mixed or like, you know, closer to white. I know it sounds weird to say. So, and I actually played off of that and I feel ashamed about it, but like I performed, like I just, I just, I, I like that feeling of being wanted or, you know, being accepted. Especially in the art world, man, we're like, we're, you know, we're all what? We're all liberals, right? We're all, um, we all love each other kumbaya. But, you know, I've, I'm not, no, I'm not a dummy and I can, just because we're in this art world doesn't mean there's not racist or prejudiced people. And I think that's a misconception that a lot of people think about art and, you know, it works if you are someone who's not part of this um, minority or underrepresented um, group of people, then you don't really care. Where are you now mentally from last week? Is there a big change? Is there like, I mean, it doesn't have, I mean, obviously it's only been a week. Yeah. But no, I'm, do you think about that? I do. I'm way happier. You, you understand because um, we've worked together and, you know, we've stayed in touch since school. So you understand the struggles that I was going through as like a father, as an artist, just as a person. So once I was able to stabilize all three, it's like, okay, I'm just like going through the motions again. And I like that. So this is some a magic scope for that idea of a stack of black cats. This well, they're, they're, they're actually, I don't know, they're, they're going to be in the same sense that like you really like uh, animated or some kind of fictional creature or you know celebrity or anything these are going to be alive in that sense i guess like they're real to me and i'm trying to bring them real to other people or these ideas how how um difficult for you is to get like to be to think critically about the piece and make sure that it makes sense but also to not be too in your head and kind of overthink it. That's a... Is that something you worry about? Yeah, I worry about it, but then I've learned to just say, I mean, I worry about a lot of shit mm -hmm. all the time. So I just kind of, yeah, that is a worry because just like, oh, am I over, um, you know, overthinking this? Does this even make sense? But then I realize, like, if I'm having these ideas, the only way to figure out if it makes sense is to do it. So with performance, that's the thing, you know, it might might be bad or it might just not click or it might not work 
the first time. But that's part of the art for me. It's like putting yourself out there on the chopping block. And that's why I like experimental works. And, you know, I love performance because you're not, you're not using, you're not using something to relay an idea and just walking away from it. You are that idea for the whole time. So you take everything, you know, you ingest all the, the feedback, the criticism and all of that. And then, you know, react to it and you create more work.